In this figure, we have a rectangular solid and the solid has six faces and each face represents a rectangle. The left face has a diagonal and the angle of 35 degrees. The back face also has a diagonal and the angle of 67 degrees. Then, using these angles, how can we find angle theta? Notice that the given angles, as well as angle theta, they all belong to right triangles. In the triangle that has angle theta, this angle is the right angle. Then this diagonal represents the hypotenuse. To find an angle inside a right triangle, we can use trigonometric functions. For example, sine of angle theta equals the opposite side divided by hypotenuse, cosine of angle theta equals the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse, and tangent of angle theta equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. But how can we find these sides if we are just given two angles? Once we are not given any of these dimensions, we will assign the height of this solid a certain value, then we will calculate the length and the width in relation to this height. To keep it simple, let's assign the height the value of 1. Then in the back triangle, we can find the length using the tangent function. We will write that tangent of 67 degrees equals the opposite side, which is the length, divided by the adjacent side, which is the height. So tangent of 67 degrees equals the length divided by the height, and the height has the value of 1. Then if we use the calculator, we will get that the length is approximately 2.3559. In the next step, we will use the left triangle to find the width. We will write that tangent of 35 degrees equals the opposite side, which is the width, divided by the adjacent side, which is the height. So tangent of 35 degrees equals the width divided by the height, and the height is 1. Then w divided by 1 is w, and if we use a calculator, we will get that the width is approximately 0 0.7002. And now, once we have the length and the width, we can find the angle theta. Once again, we will use the tangent function, and we will write that tangent of angle theta equals the opposite side, which is the length, divided by the adjacent side, which is the width. So again, tangent of angle theta equals L over W, and if we replace, we will have tangent of theta equals 2.3559 divided by 0 0.7002. To find angle theta, we will take the inverse tangent of 2.3559 over 0 0.7002. We will use a calculator and we will get that theta is approximately 73.4 degrees. And now the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed this problem and I am looking forward to read your comments.